Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is all about you, Cancer. That's right, this is your July 2020 career and finance reading. We have three piles here. Pile number one is represented by an aqua marine. Pile number two is represented by what I like to call my beachy agate because it reminds me of the waves crashing up on a sandy, rocky beach. And then pile number three is a lapis lazuli. So go ahead and choose which pile is right for you. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take this moment to ask that if you like these readings, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of when I upload. And most definitely, my favorite part of all, leave me a comment down below. I love talking with you guys. And you Cancers, you guys are so wonderful and encouraging and loving. So drop me a line. Tell me how you're doing. How's your life going, Cancer? All right, pal, one, two, and three. If you need a bit more time, go ahead and pause that video. And let's get started. All right. My beautiful aquamarine cancers. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, like, cracking. <laughs> my beautiful aquamarine cancers. Let us see what July has in store for your career and finances. We have the Seven of Cups. This is a card of opportunity, of options. It can also be a card of feeling overwhelmed with many options. This is like if you're buying a house and you're having to, um, they're building it from scratch and you're having to pick out all the tile, all the flooring, all the cabinet colors, all the paint colors. It can be a little overwhelming, but it's a good kind of overwhelming. We have the magician here saying that you are in the midst of manifesting in your career and finances in July of 2020, my lovely Cancers. I like how these two cards sort of play off each other. We have the Ace of Cups, a new beginning that you are going to love. If this was a love reading, this would be an offer of love, but I see this as an offer that you will love. And you've manifested this for yourself by choosing the correct options. Three of Wands, your ship's coming in, finding that piece of treasure that you've always been looking for. I love it. And then you end off with your outcome card being the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of standing solid and independent financially, having everything you need to move forward on your own. And it's beautiful. All right, so what I am getting for you, my gorgeous aquamarine cancers, is that in your career on finances, July is going to bring you a lot of options. You are going to manifest a new option that you love for yourself that is going to bring your ships in or bring in whatever you want to see for yourself. This is... Um, getting, if you're putting an offer in on a house, this is it getting accepted, even though you kind of lowballed the offer. Um, by lowballing the offer, not only do you get the house and your ships come in, but now you have a little bit of money to do some work around that house. Um, I don't know why I keep getting house. There's no house here, but <laughs> this is having options and manifesting one that you absolutely love. You could see this cup right here in this. So you're choosing the thing that you love and it's bringing you, I mean, it's bringing you where, to, where you wanna go. Your ships are coming in, you're solid and independent financially. You don't have to worry about um, anybody else really, because you you have what you need. You're, you're strong, you know, this is just such a, a really nice, reading it's it's almost like I kind of like things are going with the flow and by the end of July you will have accumulated some money somehow that is going to well allow you to feel confident this is like 
having an opportunity to do a quick project with someone. Doing that quick project, manifesting the best project you possibly can, and the person loving it, and, you know, giving you a bonus along with your salary, and you having enough money saved away so that, like, if your car breaks down, you don't have to go without food or go without paying rent or go without this or that. Everything is covered because you took the time out to save it when you, when you got it. But July is looking really good for you, especially the end of July. All of July, really. I mean, having options is a nice thing. Manifesting something that you love. I mean, you can see this cup. Come on, you can see this cup right here. This cup right here is the same cup. So you're going to choose. You're going to manifest. You're going to have options. You're going to manifest the perfect one for you, the one that you absolutely love. Your ships are going to come in, and you're going to be in a solid spot financially going into August. And I love that for you because I want that for you because you deserve it, Cancer. You're so good about taking care of everybody, helping everybody, making sure everybody's got everything that they need. You guys are, like, so loving and wonderful. Um, you know, you're the moms of your friend group. You're the ones who, who really make sure that everybody's well taken care of and everybody's feeling the love and feeling the fun. And so I'm very grateful to you, Cancers, for all you do. And it looks like so is the universe, because July is bringing some good stuff your way, gorgeous. And you deserve it. I mean... It's not easy to manifest, and you're doing that. You're manifesting something new that you love, and it's bringing you everything you want. And that is what I have for you, my gorgeous aquamarine folk. I hope that July of 2020 brings you Cancerians everything you deserve, because you guys are beautiful and amazing and wonderful and brilliant and funny and loving and caring and kind, and you deserve it. You deserve it. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye. All right. Pile number two. My beachy agate cancerians. Let's see what July 2020 is bringing into your career and finances. We have the eight of swords. This is feeling stuck feeling like a victim, feeling like you can't go anywhere, you can't do anything, you don't have anything, you're trapped, you're stuck. This could be you're in a career that you absolutely hate. This could be financially, you're stuck where you're at, you can't move the way you wanted, you can't go where you wanted or do the things you wanted because you're stuck. The devil in reverse, that is interesting. Okay, so the Devil card can be a card of overindulgence of doing too much. The Devil card in reverse is coming out of that energy. This is stopping that sort of energy that puts you into this place. This is if you have a, um, a shopping habit. This is you stopping that shopping habit so that you can be in a better place and you can get out of this sort of trapped energy yes yes we love this the king of swords is cutting it all out love they're saying no you are going to ice over your heart and you are going to go through and cut out the things you don't need in your life so that you can get out of this energy we have the six of swords this puts you on a healing path that's beautiful Oh, if there is any outcome card you would want, this would be it. This is the sun card. This says that all the cards on this are better for this card being here. Okay, so some of you may be overspending or overeating, maybe drinking too much, maybe gambling, could be smoking too much pot, something. You're doing something that has you feeling trapped financially that is got you in an energy space where you're like, no, I can't do this anymore. I have to stop. I have to change things. And you do. 
Like, you, this is you busting these ties. This is you breaking free of these ropes, of these bindings, busting out of these swords and saying, no, no, I'm not going to be stuck in this cage. I'm not going to be trapped. I'm not going to be held here. No, I'm going to cut this shit out. I'm going to do what I need to do to move on and heal. And things get so much better, so much brighter. Now, some of you, this is being trapped in a shitty job that you kind of have to go to whether you want it or not. And this is you saying, you know what, I'm going to start looking for another job because I don't like where I'm at. This is you cutting out the crap from your life, moving in a healing path and going to a job that like is like, oh my gosh, you're so wonderful. I'm so glad you work here because that's what you deserve. That's what you deserve and you know it. So you're going to come out of this energy and you're going to like move forward, making the changes in your life that are going to be long lasting to bring you contentment and peace. I mean, happiness is fleeting. Happiness comes and goes. Happiness is getting a new car. Contentment is feeling at peace and feeling happy with who you are, where you're at in life without having anything to spur that. Just waking up in a place of not so much happiness, but gratitude for where you're at, what you're doing, who you're with, what you have. And it's kind of beautiful. <clears throat> Some of you were stuck because of a relationship financially. And you may be either cutting this person free or asserting your power and saying, no, no, we're going to talk about this financial situation here. This is not working for me. And this can lead to a healing in your finances and your relationship that makes everything just that much better. You know, brings it back to when you guys, you know, that we're kids hanging out, playing, having fun feeling instead of constantly fighting about money. And feeling trapped. Some of you, like I said, are in a job that isn't paying you what you deserve. And you're coming out of it. There is a new job that is coming in. Um, be honest with your employer. That, you know, that you're looking for something more in your field. Or more closer to your house. Or something like that. That way, if you're prospective employer calls your current employer, your current employer isn't like, uh, what now? Um, but still do the best you can for them. But you're going to, this, this is going to bring you to a healing path that allows you to be so much happier and more content with who you are and where you are. Like, what different energies? Two kids, free, playing, having fun together, Versus being bound to a rock with swords all around you. Um, I'm proud of you. This change is not an easy one to make. Coming out of this, whatever it is, a relationship, a way of thinking, a um, an addiction. a it, This could even be a way of thinking within a chronic illness. I know sometimes I get into the woe is me state when everything hurts really bad. This is you going, you know what, I'm going to stop when I feel that poor me, and I'm gonna go, you know, look at how lucky I am I have this house. Look at how lucky I am I have my animals. Look at how lucky I am I have this, I have that. And changing that kind of way of thinking, changing that moment, in that moment, is going to lead to changes, psychologically speaking, that will last the rest of your life. Because that is you stopping this negative, it could be negative self-talk, or negative patterns. This is you cutting all of that shit out of your life and in healing and growing. And it's really funny to me that this is coming up in a, a career in finance reading, but it could be because all of this really just affects your financial situation. I mean, if this is a bad relationship at home where you don't have access to money or you, um, you know, you guys always fight about money, cutting things out, learning how to budget, stuff like that, that can change the tone of a relationship that can bring us to a healing path that can teach us or them compromise. And it, that can put a relationship into a happier, brighter, 
more grateful place, more loving place. Um, but if someone is making you feel like this with their words and their deeds, and you've been honest about how you're feeling, that might be the person you want to cut out of your life because nobody should ever make you feel like this. Not intentionally. We're always going to have those moments where we misconstrue what someone says or someone misconstrues, you know, spits out like kind of the wrong thing, the wrong word, the wrong moment, you know. Um, but if someone puts you here willingly of their own accord, cut them out of your life because you deserve better. You don't deserve anyone who will make you feel like this. You deserve this. You deserve healing. I'm just going to pull the sun card up here to take a thumbnail real quick because it's a beautiful card. And that's what you deserve. You deserve all the beauty in the world. You deserve all the good in the world, my gorgeous Cancerians. Because you guys approach the world in this way in this loving light sweet wonderful caring compassionate way and you deserve all the good the world has to offer because you offer the world so much good i love you guys and i hope july brings you everything your hearts desire bye all right pile number three my beautiful lapis lazuli Cancerians. Let us see. Let's see. Are you gonna? There we go. Let us see what July of 2020 has in store for your career and finances. We have the Knight of Cups. This is an offer, an offer of love, an offer you love, an offer from some place that you love. This could be a job offer. Um, this could all because this could also be engagement or moving in with someone because when you're moving in with someone it does affect your finances because you're pooling your finances together so a lot of times you're spending less money we have the hermit card here telling you that you're going to be seeking wisdom you could be talking to an accountant you could be talking to um, someone who does taxes you could be kind of going within yourself to figure it out, to, to figure it out, to figure out what it is and where you want to go. This could also be you working on a project that has you really doing a lot of research late into the night. The Three of Pentacles has you growing a solid foundation. One where you're helping each other out, you're working together. This is amazing co-workers. We have justice here. You could be a Libra, or you could be working with a Libra. Your boss could be a Libra. Or this position is, is just the right position for you. Maybe you're getting a job offer, and you have to kind of decide, do you want to take it or not? If you take it, it is going to bring you growth. It is going to bring you a solid foundation to move forward from. It is going to bring you to justice. And your outcome card? The lovers. Awesome. Awesome. The lovers is having, you know, that perfect job, that perfect thing, that perfect project, something that you love, something that you're passionate about, something that you can invest in. Now you have three major arcana cards here. You have the hermit, justice, and the lovers card, <coughs> which speaks to me of in a work situation, you may be in the legal field. Because this is like seeking, this is like doing research on the law and it's something that you love. So you could be, um, you could be a lawyer, you could be a paralegal, something like that. Um, or you could be someone working with like the bailout projects and stuff to help people. So you're doing the research on the cases to help your community grow, to help find justice for people who have not had justice given to them. Um, so you can balance things out. This is really cool. Um, some of you, again, this is a new job offer coming your way and you're trying to decide if you're going to take it or not. 
I feel like you do wind up taking it and it winds up being a good thing because you're growing a solid foundation for the future. It's going to be something that is fair and just and it's something that you love. You absolutely love. You can't beat that. Um, for some of you, this is going to be a project that is going to come to you at work that is going to um, require some research. But as you're doing the research, you're finding like you have a solid foundation in researching this sort of topic so it kind of comes easy to you and you know your bosses are loving what you're doing you're loving what you're doing and everything is golden for July as far as those of you who do not have a job I see a job offer coming your way you're going to have to search inside yourself to see if this is something you want to do or not it may not be in your career field, it may not be something you ever considered, or it may be a step down from your skill level. Um, but I feel like you may feel like it's a step down at first, but when you do the research into it and you find out like their benefits programs, you're going to see that it's pretty well balanced and you're going to wind up loving it. Um, some of you are actually going to be given a job offer that is going to sort of allow you to, this is going to sound silly, but allow you to find yourself and give you a strong foundation for justice in the future in love. You know what you want. You know what you deserve. You won't accept for less. You won't accept less. Whew, sorry. Um, we're talking hard. I'm a Virgo and Mercury is in retrograde right now, so my mouth is not functioning correctly all the time, so I apologize for that. You guys are so wonderful. Thank you. for. I hope you're not too mad. Um, yeah, there's an offer you love coming in. Make sure you take the time to research it all thoroughly, but I feel like it's going to provide you a solid foundation for growth and balance, and it's going to be something that you love and are passionate about and really enjoy. I know I said taking a step down, but honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of feel like some of you are going to be getting, you're going for a job that is higher qualifications than you think you deserve, but let's be honest here, you totally are awesome and amazing, and sometimes you, Cancer, you tend to downplay yourself, and you gotta stop doing that, because you are wonderful. You are so much better, smarter, and more amazing than you give yourself credit for. And this right here shows that. So this is beautiful. This is a beautiful reading. I think July of 2020 is going to be very, very good for your career and finances. And I think you are going to have a lot of fun. You're going to have a lot of fun at work. You're going to have a lot of fun in projects. You're just going to have a lot of fun in July period. My gorgeous lapis lazuli cancers. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And I want to tell you that I hope you have a really awesome July. And I want to tell you that I love you. And I want to thank you for making this world a better place. Because that is exactly what you Cancerians do. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. For those wondering what cards we used today, we used the Mermaid Tarot by Lisa Robertson and Julie Dillon. And I highly, highly recommend these cards. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're easy to work with, and they are a lot of fun. All right. Thank you, Cancer. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day and a wonderful July. Love you guys.